What's up? What's up, everyone? And today I'm going to be teaching you how to print your own gun. Yes, it's going to be cheap, easy, and free, and probably illegal. That's why I have to hide my identity, okay? Actually, I'm full of shit, dude, all right? We're not doing any of that. We're not breaking any laws today, okay? Everything we do is going to be by the books. All right, let me fix the stash show real quick, bros. What's up? What's up? Welcome to my channel, guys. Uh, sorry for that clickbait uh, bullshit, but um, yeah, disclaimer. Nothing that we're going to be doing here on this channel today promotes any legal activities in any way shape or form hey come here so welcome to the channel please make sure to like comment and subscribe do all of that things because it actually helps and it feeds my ego so uh we're gonna be talking a little bit about 3d printing gun frames and if you're new to that i'm also new so i'm gonna give you the rundown on what i've learned in my experience um I've been doing this for maybe two days. I've been 3D printing for about the last three years, just knickknacks and stuff like that that I like. Um, so, yeah, let's uh, go down this path. So the gun that we're going to be going after and to 3D print right now, it's um, I have a Glock 26. This was my first Glock that I purchased. This is just the lower with a Streamlight TLR laser light combo on the bottom i love this thing the battery lasts such a long time i bought a pack of batteries whatever the reason that i chose this firearm um to 3d print uh the lower is because i have all the parts for this gun so i didn't really want to spend too much money but i'm gonna be spending much i'm gonna be spending more money so first things first a few disclaimers all right um i am not promoting i'm not teaching you how to do anything illegal i'm not telling you to go break the law find out what your local laws are find out what the local requirements are um i'm talking to legal gun owners here i'm not talking if you're a criminal look that you're not gonna learn how to break the law from me man i'm sorry i'm 33 fucking years old i didn't get all the way here to start breaking the law so Glock 26, third gen, is what we're working on, is what I'm working on right now. The reason I'm working on that is because I have a lot of extra parts that I can drop in to these lowers, and I'm more familiar with that fire. I'm not really a Glock fanboy. This is the only Glock that I have, but if I can make it work, I will continue to work on... Uh, we'll see where it goes. So let me show you the first prototype, my first ever... 3d printed frame and uh, most people will hate it i've seen a lot of comments in the shorts saying that they dislike that look man i know how to mess with 3d printing i have a 3d printer i was able to get my hands on this file it was free i was like oh let me download it um when you go to download one of these frames you'll find that a lot of websites uh, they make you sign up they make you do all these things and I really don't like that. I don't like that, right? Uh, I, I don't know. It's just the type of person that I am. So I saw this file, and, uh, you know, I was like, hey, right off the back, let's print this bad boy. Let's do something stupid to it right off the back, and that's where you get this offset Picatinny rail for a mount. You could check my shorts out. I put this funny Vortex um, red dot optic on it on the glock it was hilarious uh i just like this look that's why i printed it out like this and it's built right into it a few mistakes that i did i should have printed this separate mounted it took in some measurements and then on the software made it to those measurements i've made several mistakes in this this is uh, i cut it up a little bit if you can see and it's very tight the slide won't even go in there right and then these little sites back here won't pass that so i have to remove those sites extremely tight it was a prototype mostly i wanted to see if my 3d printer could print a frame and it just by looking at it i wanted to see if i felt comfortable enough putting a few rounds through it so with that being said this frame right here so this frame right here 
right? Um, this is not a print frame. This is a garbage frame. This will not work. Um, the reason being, you see these little rails right here that the slide, you know, slides on. And I would imagine that that would break. You know, you fire it twice, it would just break. So this is more like, was a waste of time. It was a nice learning step. You know, a lot of the things are in place in the correct place, but when doing a little bit more research in printing or 3D printing a, a lower, all right, as long as it's legal in your state, these come as inserts, and I'm going to show you on the second one that I printed that I'm ex I'm way happier with. Everything fits. Um, so this frame right here, right, um, something must have happened. I'm, I, I was messing around with it. The magazine doesn't fit. The slide doesn't fit. Nothing really falls into place. So this file was a no-go. So, yes, this is what I want to do. And here's the funny thing with what I'm trying to do here. I wanted to make a Glock, uh, uh, accessory-ready Glock. I was going to put, like, Amazon or something. Like, not Amazon, but something like Amazon on there. And I thought it would be funny and buy a bunch of Amazon accessories that just mount on and put it all on. That's what I wanted to work on. I wanted to see if that's possible. This this worked out pretty well, man. It printed well. It's pretty rigid. I like it. So you will see this on the end product that I have here. That takes me to this here. Um, again, I'm not going to share the names or links or anything like that. This is just a journey. If you're interested in 3D printing, if you like my content, uh, yeah, join me on this, man. You know me. I post almost every fucking day. This right here, successful. This worked out, okay? Let's click the microphone. And you might hate the fucking microphone, but whatever, guys. Whatever, man. So, first things first, the magazine. Okay. So, the magazine fits. The extended magazine, this little add-on, this extension for a few more rounds. I believe it's five more rounds this adds. Um, it comes with that little pin there. And that stops it from going all the way in. So... Uh, I will be altering that here. I'll be taking some measurements and just putting a dip in that right there just so we won't have the problem because the magazine is not going all the way up and you can see right there where it's not lining up clearly. Okay, so that's one thing we're working on, but it fits. Oh, yeah, and here are, you see how this is empty. There's no rails. It is flat. You know, compared to this that has these fake rails on there that won't work. I believe won't work. Uh, this is a set that you have to buy. It's um, something rail locking, some shit like that. I saw it on, excuse me, I saw it on eBay, about $34. Or was it $34? No, 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 no. The trigger and all this other shit here that I need, right? was about $34. The blocking and rail system was $74. So, look, you're spending money on a firearm that potentially might not work. You're spending money on a firearm that me, myself, I wouldn't feel comfortable using, you know? And that's the problem with 3D printing firearms. It's like, i rather stick with this. And this is just a little experiment that I'm doing you know, like I said, I do live in a state that's legal to do, so why not give it a try? Why not do it? Okay, so that's why I'm doing this. I'm not doing this to upgrade, to enhance. I'm not doing this to, uh, you know, because I can't purchase a firearm. I'm not doing this because it's cheaper. I'm just doing it because um, why the hell not? I live in a state that I can do it. I live in a country that I can do it. And I have a um, computer, 3D printer. I got everything I need to do it. So, might as well give it a try. All right. So magazine fits in here. We've got to do a little bit of alterations there, which is pretty cool. I'm loving the color. This is uh, a hard, This is harder than PLA, this material that I'm using here. Now, awesomely enough, it does fit. And look at that. Look at that. Yep, yep. That happens because the magazine doesn't hold. But there you go. I, I love I love that color combo right there. Um, I do like it. I'm I'm planning on maybe doing like skeletonizing this, making it a little bit thicker, bumping it out, 
very very thin so you know i can't really skeletonize it much put some cool designs on there and then so i love the way this looks all right it, it looks pretty cool very simple and um yeah we're gonna have some fun with this so yeah if you're interested in this if you've done something like this um yeah let me know share some info hit me up in the comments let's talk about it all right but yeah check that out baby that that's pretty come on okay that's all thanks for checking this out be sure to like you know let me know man talk to me let's start a community let's talk about it man you know i'm not one of these big youtube channels if you come to the comment section with some good information hey we'll talk about it you know we'll go back and forth i'm all for also collaborating with other uh, youtubers in this realm you know let's uh small communities let's grow together but what do you think about this what do you think about the process i know i have a long way to go um point me in the direction point me in the right directions to get the right parts the names of all the parts i'm not too familiar with the names and again if you're gonna look man if you're gonna tell me that i'm doing something illegal that's fine you have the right to um speak your mind brother tell me i'm wrong okay just do it in the comment section um yeah but look check that out it looks very nice man i print it i seen a lot of people print these just like that and i i didn't really like that um in my experience with 3d printing i printed this on an angle it just makes it a little bit more solid you know in my experience um yeah so let me end this video guys thanks for checking that out hopefully this is one continuous video with just like three cuts and then that's it man uh you're gonna see some funny shorts about this i'm gonna make it the gun falling apart like look when you buy your gun on wish some shit like that later peace